Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will proclaim your praise. Come, let us worship Christ, who for our sake suffered death and was buried. Come, let us ring out our joy to the Lord. Hail the rock who saves us. Let us come into his presence, giving thanks. Let us hail him with a song of praise. Come, let us worship Christ, who for our sake suffered death and was buried. A mighty God is the Lord, a great King above all gods. In its hands are the depths of the earth, the heights of the mountains are his. To him belongs the sea, for he hath made it, and the dry land that he shaped by his hand. Come, let us worship Christ, who for our sake suffered death and was buried.
In peace I will lie down and sleep. When I call, answer me, O God of justice. From anguish you release me, have mercy and hear me. O men, how long will your hearts be closed? Will your love what is futile and seek what is false? It is the Lord who grants favors to those whom he loves. The Lord hears me whenever I call him. Fear him, do not sin. Ponder on your bed and be still. Make justice your sacrifice and trust in the Lord. What can bring us happiness, many say. Let the light of your face shine in us, O Lord. You have put into my heart a greater joy than they have from abundance of corn and new Lie down in peace and sleep comes at once. For you alone, Lord, make me dwell in safety. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. In peace, I lie down and sleep.
Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. To lift high the ancient portals that King of glory enters. Take up my cause and rescue me. Be true to your word, give me life. From the letter to the Hebrews. While the promise of entrance into his rest still holds, we ought to be fearful of disobeying, lest any one of you be judged to have lost his chance of entering. We have indeed heard the good news as they did, but the word which they heard did not profit them, for they did not receive it in faith. It is we who have believed to enter into that rest, just as God said. Then I swore in my anger, they shall never enter into my rest. Yet God's work was finished when he created the world, for in reference to the seventh day scripture somewhere says, And God rested from all his work on the seventh day. And again in the place we have referred to God says, They shall never enter into my rest. Therefore, since it remains for some to enter, and those to whom it was first announced did not enter because of unbelief, God once more set a day, today, when long afterward he spoke through David the words we have quoted. Today, if you should hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Now if Joshua had led them to the place of rest, God would not have spoken afterward of another day. Therefore a Sabbath rest still remains for the people of God. And he who enters into God's rest rests from his own work as God did from his. Let us strive to enter into that rest so that no one may fall in imitation of the example of Israel's unbelief. Indeed, God's word is living and effective, sharper than any two-edged sword. It penetrates and divides soul and spirit, joints and marrow. It judges the reflections and thoughts of the heart. Nothing is concealed from him. All lies bare and exposed to the eyes of him to whom we must render an account. They buried the Lord and sealed the tomb by rolling a large stone in front of it. They stationed soldiers there to guard it. The chief priests asked Pilate for a guard. They stationed soldiers there to guard it. From an ancient homily on Holy Saturday. Something strange is happening. There is a great silence on earth today a great silence and stillness. The whole earth keeps silence because the king is asleep. The earth trembled and is still because God has fallen asleep in the flesh and he has raised up all who have slept ever since the world began. God has died in the flesh and hell trembles with fear. He has gone to search for our first parent, as for a lost sheep. Greatly desiring to visit those who live in darkness and in the shadow of death, he has gone to free from sorrow the captives, Adam and Eve, he who is both God and son of Eve. The Lord approached them bearing the cross, the weapon that had won him the victory. At the sight of him, Adam, the first man he had created, struck his breast in terror and cried out to everyone, My Lord, be with you all. Christ answered him, and with your spirit. He took him by the hand and raised him up, saying, Awake, O sleeper, and rise from the dead, and Christ will give you light. I am your God, 
who for your sake have become your son. Out of love for you and for your descendants, I now by my own authority command all who are held in bondage to come forth, all who are in darkness to be enlightened, all who are sleeping to arise. I order you, O sleeper, to awake. I did not create you to be held a prisoner in hell. Rise from the dead, for I am the life of the dead. Rise up, work of my hands, you who are created in my image. Rise, let us leave this place, for you are in me and I am in you. Together we form only one person, and we cannot be separated. For your sake, I, your God, became your son. I, the Lord, took the form of a slave. I, whose home is above the heavens, descended to the earth and beneath the earth. For your sake, for the sake of man, I became like a man without help, free among the dead. For the sake of you who left a garden, I was betrayed to the Jews in a garden. I was crucified in a garden. See on my face the spittle I received in order to restore you the life I once breathed into you. See there the marks of the blows I received in order to refashion your warped nature in my image. On my back, see the marks of the scourging I endured to remove the burden of sin that weighs upon your back. See my hands nailed firmly to a tree for you who once wickedly stretched out your hand to a tree. I slept on the cross, and a sword pierced my side for you who slept in paradise and brought forth Eve from your side. My side has healed the pain in yours. My sleep will rouse you from your sleep in hell. The sword that pierced me has sheathed the sword that was turned against you. Rise, let us leave this place. The enemy led you out of the earthly paradise. I will not restore you to that paradise, but I will enthrone you in heaven. I forbade you the tree that was only a symbol of life, but see, I who am life itself am now one with you. I appointed cherubim to guard you as slaves are guarded, but now I make them worship you as God. The throne formed by cherubim awaits you, its bearers swift and eager. The bridal chamber is adorned, the banquet is ready, the eternal dwelling places are prepared, the treasure houses of all good things lie open. The kingdom of heaven has been prepared for you from all eternity. Our shepherd, the source of the water of life, has died. The sun was darkened when he passed away, but now man's captor is made captive. This is the day when our Savior broke through the gates of death. He has destroyed the barricades of hell, overthrown the serenity of the devil. This is the day when our Savior broke through the gates of death.
Like a sheep, he was led to the slaughter, and though he was harshly treated, he opened not his mouth. He was delivered up to death, that he might give life to his people. He surrendered himself to death, and was counted among the wicked, that he might give life to his people. Arise, Jerusalem, and take off the trappings of joy. Put on sackcloth and ashes, for in you has the Savior of Israel been slain. Let your tears flow like a torrent day and night. Let there be no repose for your eyes, for in you has the Savior of Israel been slain.
Lament like a virgin, my people. Howl, you shepherds, in sackcloth and ashes. For the great day of the Lord has come, a day exceedingly bitter. Gird yourselves, O priest, and weep, O ministers of the altar. Sprinkle yourself with ashes. For the great day of the Lord has come, a day exceedingly bitter. Lament like a virgin, my people. Though sinless, the Lord has been put to death. The world is in mourning as for an only son. Hear my voice, O God, as I complain. Guard my life from the dread of the foe. Hide me from the band of the wicked, from the throng of those who do sharpen their tongues like swords, they aim bitter words like arrows, to shoot at the innocent from ambush, shooting solemnly and recklessly. They scheme their evil course, they conspire to lay secret snares, they say who will see us, who can search out our crimes. We will search who searches the mind, and know the depths of God has shot them with his arrow and dealt them sun and wounds. Their own tongue has brought them to ruin, and all who see them mock. Then will all men fear, they will tell what God has done. They will understand God's deeds, the just will rejoice in the Lord, and fly to him for refuge, all the upright hearts will you 
From the book of the prophet Hosea. Thus says the Lord, in their affliction they shall look for me. Come, let us return to the Lord, for it is he who has rent, but he will heal us. He has struck us, but he will bind our wounds. He will revive us after two days. On the third day he will raise us up to live in his presence. For our sake, Christ was obedient, accepting even death, death on a cross. Therefore, God raised him on high and gave him the name above all other names. Save us, O Savior. You redeemed us by the shedding of your blood. We cry out for your help, O God. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. For his holy prophets he promised of all. Save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. It was the oath he swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our child shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for he will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, that down from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death. to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning is now and will be forever. Amen. Save us, O Savior of the world. On the cross you redeem us by the shedding of your blood. We cry out for your help. Our Redeemer suffered and was buried for us in order to rise again. With sincere love we adore him, and aware of our needs, we cry out, Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, our Savior, 
Your sorrowing mother stood by you at your death and burial. In our sorrows, may we share your suffering. Christ our Lord, like the seed buried in the ground, you brought forth for us the harvest of grace. May we die to sin and live for God. Christ the Good Shepherd, in death you lay hidden from the world. Teach us to love a life hidden with you in the Father. Christ the New Adam, you entered the kingdom of death to release all the just since the beginning of the world. May all who lie dead in sin hear your voice and rise to life. Christ, the Son of the living God, through baptism we were buried with you. Risen also in baptism, may we walk in newness of life. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. All-powerful and ever-living God, your only Son went down among the dead and rose again in glory. In your goodness, raise up your faithful people, buried with him in baptism, to be one with him in the everlasting life of heaven, where he lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Please kneel. Out of the depths I cry to you, O Lord. Lord, hear my voice. Let your ears be attentive to my voice in supplication. If you, O Lord, mark iniquities, Lord, who can stand? But with you is forgiveness, that you may be revered. I trust in the Lord. My soul trusts in his word. My soul waits for the Lord, more than sentinels wait for the dawn. More than sentinels wait for the dawn, let Israel wait for the Lord. For with the Lord is kindness, and with him plenteous redemption. And he will redeem Israel from all their iniquities. <laughs> 